New uncrewed aircraft are transforming the way important supplies and other hardware get moved from point A to point B, whether that's in civilian life or perhaps in military service too. And here at the Paris Air Show, we're here to talk to the head of Textron's e-aviation division about how this Nuva V300 aircraft is part of that equation. We really see three primary kind of customer segments, if you will. The first would be commercial logistics. Think last mile. We understand that here within Europe, the motorways are con quite congested. Uh, and in other parts of the world, finding skilled talent to drive uh, with, a, with a commercial driver's license can be challenging. So our goal is to ensure that commercial operators have a way to have last mile package delivery. The second segment would be in a special missions humanitarian capacity. Uh, think disaster relief. If there is an earthquake or a hurricane and the roadways, railways, or airports are disrupted, our ability to land without a runway, taking off vertically, landing vertically, on unimproved surfaces ensures that we can respond immediately to the needs of the communities at large. The third segment would be in the defense environment, our ability to support warfighters by providing provisions and getting those to the front lines uh, in an unmanned application for a contested logistics uh, theater would be a, a, a great use case um, and something that we know uh, that our warfighters want and need. With the last mile delivery scenario, Try and paint a picture for me for how that might work. So the Nuva V300 is able to be operated by two humans. Essentially, it's a human on the loop. Note I don't say pilot because the vehicle itself can command itself. But you do have the oversight of a human looking at the waypoints and the flight plan. Uh, that person can intervene and make adjustments as or if the company should so desire. Uh, and ultimately, the goal would be that one operator could control many Nuva V300, thus further reducing the cost to the operator, ensuring more capability is delivered on time for that end customer. Secondly, you only need one person on the ground. You can note here that we have a pallet. So we have multiple configurations. You can load three pallets into the Nuva V300, or you could loose load or, or load on a, on a base pallet only. But essentially, the sweet spot is for an operator to be able to deliver up to 600 pounds of cargo, 300 nautical miles of distance. So that's kind of the, the best intersection of best range and best payload. Equally, you could carry nearly 1,000 pounds roughly 100 nautical miles. Right, so in a European country, doesn't really matter which one, there could be kind of a command center and somebody there could be dispatching Nuova 300s all over the place. Absolutely, the Nuova V300 uh, is, is envisioned as a beyond visual line of sight capable aircraft, which means that our operator on the ground who's monitoring the aircraft can do so for one aircraft or for many aircraft. Um, equally, if the distance is going to be greater or there's a need, they can hand that off. Everything is done over SATCOM in a secure environment, ensuring that there's continuity and security associated with the vehicle. Right, now you mentioned operations. Where do things stand when it comes to approvals that would be needed for these uncrewed aircraft to suddenly be you know, making deliveries, uh, in, in some cases, I guess, in urban areas. Yeah, so as Hippostrel is the design authority of the aircraft, uh, we are following IASA's JARUS, SORA, and SAIL methodology, which is well laid out. So it is a stepped program where you have the ability to operate over unpopulated areas all the way through lightly populated and ultimately into, into a fully populated airspace. We understand as the OEM, it's our obligation to ensure that the vehicle can be accommodated safely into the airspace that already exists with other aircraft. Um, and equally, we expect agencies to continue to evolve as they are, and we're grateful for that movement both within IASA as well as recently with the FAA, who has put their BB loss requirements forward, and, and recently with an executive order supporting it, which ensures that that's going to continue to progress. Those aspects of the regulatory bodies moving forward with haste is important because it allows industry to continue to make smart investment, and ultimately it'll uh, allow our operators to have you know new systems that they can operate in different ways than historically have been available. Right. And you mentioned uh, the, the recent test flights you've been doing. You're saying you're unveiling it here. 
Where are you in terms of having this market ready? Are you already talking to prospective customers? Are, you, are, are people ready to sign up for this yet? Yeah, we are absolutely fully focused on ensuring that we expand our flight test envelope. So we were thrilled uh, to be able to achieve our first hover earlier this year. Uh, our first flight test article continues to fly as we expand that vertical flight test envelope. And absolutely, uh, we're building our next flight test article, which will allow us to continue full envelope expansion. At the same time, we we want to make sure that we are uh, building the vehicle that our customers want and need. And so across those three segments, we're actively soliciting customer feedback to make sure that the product that we bring to market is the one that's going to match their mission sets and requirements. And in terms of the key features uh, of the aircraft, perhaps you can describe that. I'm seeing uh, six separate motors. I guess that's the propulsion system. We have eight, actually. Iron. So um, as you can see, it is a unique system. We have two booms, each which house four motors and four batteries. Those are for the vertical takeoff and landing of the aircraft itself. The fuselage here in the center is the load carrying. As I mentioned earlier, it does accommodate up to three uh, European or US size pallets, and again, a variety of range payload opportunities. Um, we get that because we're leveraging the best of both worlds, the electric vertical takeoff and lift and landing, but also an internally combusted motor, which gives us that range duration that we know will make this product absolutely a winner for those three customer segments that we spoke to. And an unmanned vehicle means that you have to have a way to command uh, your flight controls. And we do that by using fly-by-wire technology. Last May, May 2024, Textron acquired Amazilia Aerospace space, now rebranded as Textron E-Aviation GmbH, uh, to do just that. We've vertically integrated, allowing our team at Pipistrel, who write the control laws for the vehicle, to work with our team in Munich to be able to blend into the hardware software requirements that give us the ability to control a Nuva V300 from the ground. It's not just, though, for the Nuva V300. We also use fly-by-wire in our Surveyor product, which we're proud to have on display here at the show as well. We've just delivered one of those aircraft to a customer with the first e-aviation GmbH system installed and we'll continue to have our teams work collaboratively to move that system into the Nuva V300 in air vehicle number two and continue to advance that capability. That's excellent. Now you mentioned the surveyor so just quickly run us through what is the surveyor family addressing? What sort of needs is that addressing? Yeah the surveyor is really a proven platform that uh, Pipistrel has had for many years. It's operated by many governments including the US DOD with more than 50,000 flight hours and really it's a light ISR platform intended to be a cost-effective solution. Again we offer multiple variants of the product ranging from medium altitude long endurance to high altitude long endurance. So you might ask what does that mean exactly? We can do flight durations from eight hours to more than 24 hours uh, with an, you know, an EOIR ball, uh, which is great from a standpoint of border security and patrol, uh, maritime, fisheries and hatcheries, and wildlife or pipeline management. And so again, we think about it from a standpoint of what is that platform, what is the capability, and what is the cost? And we're thrilled to be able to continue to evolve the surveyor to meet the needs of our customers.